Paradise Dragana, the brand new Japanese set slotted to come out relatively soon. A lot of cards have been recently showcased for it. In my opinion, the set's shaping out to be something fantastic. Probably one of the stronger sets to come out, and I think it will win over a lot of people. The arts look great. They're featuring a diverse range of Pokemon. The ARs look fantastic. There's going to be a heavy focus on Dragon types. And they, of course, they brought back some fan favorites, including this one right here. This, uh, that's going to drive some people crazy. This one over here, the Latias. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be a relatively strong chase card for the set as well. There's some people that have their issues with it, but it looks like a fantastic card to me. And then, of course, they got Drazna back in. And let me tell you, Drazna getting a full art trainer card, that's exactly what this set needed. Give me real big Melanie vibes. I'm glad they're focusing on trainers and Pokemon that sometimes get forgotten. It's shaping out to be a relatively positive set. I like it. It's filling me with great energy. And I'm sure our friends at r slash Pokey Investing, I'm sure they feel the exact same way about this set. And I'm frank. Frank actually picked out some uh, some posts, and I told him only pick positive ones because we're pokey positive over here. Let's see what he sent me. Frank, I'm already looking at this. This doesn't look like a very positive set. Paradise Dragana turns out to be a boring set. Mom, can we have dragons? No, there's dragons at home. And the dragons at home, I, I don't get it. It's a bunch of really cool art down at the bottom. We got a little executor looking like a, a bedazzled tree. We got Archilodon just looking badass. And then we got Appletum. This looks like a great set to me. What, what could they have to say? Of all the dragon types they could have picked to hype up a set and the potential arts, they scraped the bottom of the barrel for no discernible reason whatsoever. This is bottom of the barrel. This is what we're getting. This is the low point. I shudder. To see what the top tier stuff is going to be because in my opinion a lot of this art a lot of this stuff looks fantastic hey each their own i'm sure that's just uh it's just a one-time opinion thing there certainly can't be other people that share that tree bridge and apple pie yeah exactly that's really cool they made dragons out of a lot of different other things heck they even catered to a couple of the 151 fanboys you got a lolan executor it's not 2016 anymore you guys don't have to complain and act like you don't like a lolan executor sun and moon catered to the 151 fanboys it, it's all for you come on you don't got to pretend you don't like it anymore it's okay you can drop the act you don't got to act all big and tough for the rest of the canto boys it's okay like it's cool that it, it's okay you can like this card you left out the latias sar exactly where is that on there that's a fan favorite latias people love that card right because it looks like a regular art rare just a pokemon on it all oh, it's playing background Man, you can't win with some of these people. So, like, a, a card that has a lot of stuff going on in the background gets critiqued because there are so many things going on in the background, so many different Pokemon, so much going on in the background, like, the, the, the setting it's sitting in, right? And then, of course, if they do the exact opposite, there's people that are just like, oh, there's, it's so boring. What's going on? Latias is just flogging in the fucking sky. That's really boring, big dog. Oh, my God. Man, this is some negativity right here. I don't know if I'm ready to deal with what's going on right here. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but Pokemon is trying way too hard to push the popularity of Duraludon. Like, why did this thing even need an evolution? Because it's awesome. Archilodon is a good Pokemon. Duraludon is super cool. I don't care what anybody says that. Raihan and Duraludon, that alternate art from Evolving Skies, is top tier. That is a great card. And I don't I don't care what anybody says. Tower and Perfection is a great set. Obviously, Pokemon feels the same way. Duraludon's a cool Pokemon. He's just here. I don't, I don't care. And I think a lot of people, you'll, you'll come around. Once you actually pull some of these cards, you'll be coming around towards this stuff as well. Where's the positive post? Where, where's the positive? Positivity for this set coming for. If you want to talk shit about my boy alone executor, then do it to my face. I dare you. Yeah, exactly. They wouldn't talk about that. They'll they'll pull this card on a live stream or they'll pull it on their YouTube channel. They'll be like, you know what? This card's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool card. They'll come straight around to that stuff. They'll they'll be back. Don't don't you worry. Don't you even worry about what's going on here. Latios and Latias will be the two money cards. You can skip the rest. Uh, I don't know if you saw. The Alicia card that was featured on that sucker. Uh, some of y'all mofos want to pull up and think twice about that. I mean, th th there's Alicia here. Th yeah, this Alicia. Yeah, right, right there, front and center. Yeah, you're, you're, you're taking back what you said, aren't you? Look at that. Ugh. I still get people asking me if I'm selling this card. I still get messages. The only money cards that are going to be that set. Look, if you don't like the other Pokemon, that's fine. But uh, you don't got to just like lie to yourself about the entire thing. That's hilarious. Excuse me, how dare you diss my boy Apple Dragon? Exactly. Why are people over here just just trashing 
A well-designed Pokemon. Oh, it's just a food dragon. Oh, yeah, well, there's Seal in 151. We've already had this discussion as well. And Grimer exists as well. And I like Grimer, by the way. But, I mean, if we want to talk about shit Pokemon designs, and we got that one there, too. You know, Poke positive. you're entitled to your opinions. But the most base take, the most base thing I saw someone say, which is absolutely true, does this sub ever not complain about a set? No, they don't. They actually will complain about the Team Rocket set as well. It's going to happen. The second that one comes out in like a few months, they're going to complain about that one too. They're going to be like, oh, there's not three Rockets Charizards in here. There's not, and it makes me really upset when that positivity needs to flow in their heart, not that negativity. It's it, They're going to complain about it, trust me. Exclamation point, remind me three months when they'll be saying it's the best set ever. That's, that's the truest thing that will happen. There's going to be a bunch of posts in about two months of people people talking about should i hold or should i sell and it's going to be them holding the lease yeah there may even be a lease sar i'd be willing to bet they probably put a little bit of money towards that right but they're going to be holding up that card they're going to be holding up the latias and they're just it's not going to matter anymore especially when it comes out in english surging sparks are going to be pulling all these cards and they're going to be having a grand old time it's just the sets get introduced brand new if it's not the pokemon the popular ones that people are always going for there's a whole bunch of negativity that typically gets spread around them i don't know why if you want to open the set great if you don't want to open the set great no one's making anybody do it i just think it's funny every single time a set drops people have the exact same 2016 complaint complaints about the same 2016 Pokemon it's it's hilarious nothing new nothing special two months from now they all be singing a different tune so I got how you feel about Paradise Dragon hey you're wanting to get yourself a box as well my boy Brian over there Pokey and E you guys already know the deal five dollars off over any order 50 bucks free booster pack if you use code opossum feel free go get what you want if you want if you don't want to do that there's other people that are selling them as well get yourself a box if you want to try it out yourself see if you like the set if you genuinely don't like the set hey more power to you but if you do it's a good set it's definitely going to be one that i think is going to be relatively strong in my opinion they brought a lot of good things in the set a lot of good trainers a lot of good pokemon we'll see though that's all i got appreciate it virgins keep that positive energy flowing flowing